Hi, my name is Cheryl C. and I'm here today at Sacred Threads with my quilt, Tatted Hearts. Tatted Hearts was originally inspired by a guild challenge, uh, which uh, helped with my color palette and the asymmetry of the quilt, and even the hearts and the design. I added circles to it, and basically if it was hearts and circles, it was fair game for this. With this particular quilt, I wanted a simplistic design that had a lot of blank space so I could really focus on my hand quilting. I like to do innovative hand quilting and to show people that it doesn't have to be just cross hatching and feathers. Uh, so I like to add a lot of hidden elements in there. So I have, for example, a clock face. I have a tooth since I'm a dental hygienist in my professional life. I have a stamp and a butterfly, all kinds of crazy things, including an eyeball, because an eyeball is circular. <laughs> About nine months into the project, I acquired some of my great-grandmother's hand-tatted lace, and I was able to use about half of it, 20 yards, which just happened to be in the most perfect sherbet colors of the quilt as if it was meant to be. And this hand-tatted lace helps nestle all the Swarovski crystals that were placed on it. So this quilt really sparkles. I added an embroidered edge to it. And I was even able to incorporate a partially finished doily that my great-grandmother had made without taking apart the leaves that she didn't quite get to all the way around. So I was really happy with that. She had died when I was eight and I had only met her when I was six months old, which doesn't hardly even count. So it was a great connection there. The fabric that I used was Mary Mako fabric, and I purchased that at Crate and Barrel Outlet, and this was for 95 cents a pound. So I think the front of this quilt was about $4 worth in fabric. So yes, you can still just get a bargain today. So. This quilt at one time was even called Happy Hearts when I was working on it because it makes me smile, the colors, and uh, it was a joy to work with and it was very freeing to do something that was very asymmetrical and out of my box and maybe not the colors I normally work with at all. Um, it, it was a lot of fun, but it had to be renamed to Tatted Hearts, of course, once I incorporated all of my great-grandmother's belongings in this quilt. So thanks for sharing.